Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be covering more of Stinsel. This is part 4 of my tutorial series. If you missed the other tutorial series, is, is, make sure to go check them out. Uh, there's, like I said, I think there's three other ones. Possibly. I don't know. Because there was a 2.5, so I'm kind of thrown off. But go check them out anyways, okay? Cool. Um, so yes, what we're going to do today is show you how to make a sweet... Uh, Sorry, a scene changer, which will basically allow you to walk to one point of the screen, and then it will go to the next scene, uh, which can be used as a door, um, with no activation button, of course. So you can't really like walk up to the door, then press a button to open it. It would just be like you walk up to the door, and then it would take you somewhere. Uh, it can definitely be used for that. It can be used for a lot of purposes. But in this case, I'm going to use it in a platformer sense, so you walk to the end of the screen, or you get to a certain area, and then kablammo, you uh, get, yeah, <laughs> you get to the next scene. So obviously what we're going to need to do is we're going to need two scenes. So as you can see in scene one, it has already been created. By the way, this is the world that I have used for all of my tutorials ever. So um, I've done all of this stuff inside of a tutorial. So if you guys want to go check that out, I highly recommend you do so. Um, now, in fact, I don't even have the most updated version of my own pack, so I'm going to search. Uh, is it still on the main page? Yes, it is. So, um, This is so fancy, guys. Come on now. Um, so, download. Replace. As you can see, we I added some new blocks the other day, so we can test those out right now. All right, so let's go. Of course. <laughs> okay, so it deleted all of my past blocks. That's fine. That's fine. Let's just go ahead and delete this actor for now, and we can make a new scene. So let's just use the blocks I've selected and make kind of a bridge here, or a, a land mass. Um, and then, let's see, we can add some water. Water's always good. Maybe a bridge on the top. And uh, some more Niss right here. More water, of course. And then we are going to make a... Kind of like a door. Um, with this. So basically what's going to happen is they're going to walk into this bit right here. And uh, they're going to be teleported. This would obviously look better if this was all black. But this scene is currently not all black. So that is okay. Uh, or at least for the sake of this tutorial. So that's good right there. Um, yeah. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So let's save that. Oh, of course. Wait, we need an actor first. We're gonna use Link for this um, tutorial. And all right, so we're gonna make scene two. Uh, let's make it a vertical gradient. We'll start with kind of a red that goes into black, and that should be good. Scene two. All right. Um, so in the scene, we're just gonna add some pavement. That should be fine. And we're also going to add our actor into the scene, which is very important. We're also going to go up to physics and change the vertical gravity to 85. Um, and I think that's all we need to do. Oopsies. Yes, that's all we need to do. So we can save that scene. And now we are pretty much ready. So we're going to want to go into behaviors. And we are want we want to go into uh, just go to behaviors and search switch. Um, and you just want to choose the first one, switch scene. Uh, created by Kirk, is that? Yeah, Kirk. C E R I C. Download that, and it's gonna open. Okay, we want to attach it to a scene. Uh, but before we can do that, I actually forgot to do something. Go into your first scene that you're that you want your door in, which would be our scene one, and you want to go to this yellow little yellow button, and uh, oh, sorry, this little blue button, and add a. Uh, region by clicking the blue button and just holding a holding and dragging to create a box. So there we go. Now we have a region. So we're going to want to attach this to a scene, which is our scene one. We're going to choose a player, which would be Link, by clicking on Link. Uh, we want to choose a region, which would be the region we just created. And then we want to choose the next scene, so scene two. And uh, duration would be the amount of time it takes to fade. So let's do six seconds. Oops, not oh six. Six, thank you very much. Uh, so if we control S to save, we should be ready to go. So let's click test game. Hopefully we don't have any problems with any of our other shenanigans that we have on here. Nope. Of course not. Of course not. 
<laughs> except for the fact that I currently cannot move my player for God knows why. So let's go ahead and replace um, this guy with this guy, which I think can move. And then we need to change this guy with this guy. I don't know why Link is currently not moving, but it's okay. It's okay. It's all good. It's all good in the hood, homie. Oh, <laughs> I did not jump. What is my jump key on this guy? Do I have jump? Oh, I know what I did, guys. I know what I did. Gosh. I, oh, gosh. Okay. Uh, basically, what I did is, you know how I had all these duplicate items in here? I deleted half of them, and I really didn't think what I was deleting. So now Link has no behaviors. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, because I deleted all of his behaviors <laughs> from the behavior section. Um, so real quick, you know what, I'm not even, because this guy can move, so I'm just going to, he just can't jump, so in, instead of adding something, I'm just going to add some ground so he doesn't fall. That should be good. Okay, so we're going to test our game, he's going to walk across, he's going to fade for six seconds, six seconds, kind of long, but it's okay, and fade back in, <laughs> and he's there, can you see him? I can't. Okay. Scene two. There he is. It's kind of hard to see. So, that's how you do it. Uh, <laughs> it's not that hard, although it did take me a little while to figure out. You can do it now for yourself. Sorry about the little behavior problem we had there. Didn't really see that problem coming, but uh, it's okay. It's okay. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. If this helped you, please leave a like. Make sure to check out my name on the Stencil Forge by typing in Hopefully walk. Um, there we go. Nope, not in the behavior section because I'm not that cool. Let's just search hopefully walk. Let's actually search it. There we go. So I have lava, which was up uploaded today, which I still have to add some stuff. This is currently private. Uh, and then my adventure pack and my Ewok. Both of those. Very cool. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, and I will see you next time. Bye. Adios. Adios. Hey, it's an audio thing. Ha, <laughs> okay. Make sure to check out my other channel in the description below before I forget. And uh, if you subscribe to that channel, you get a shout-out. Yeah, that's always fun. All right, see you later. Bye.